Hi, welcome back to my page. My name is Dr. Nkiru Kabijet at Obidwai Talks with Dr. Ada Zion. Today, I'll be analyzing a video on an erectile dysfunction, and for that reason, I'll be talking about erectile dysfunction. You should watch this video so that we'll continue. So guys, um, the last time I told you, um, you guys about what I've been passing through that I cannot pull and at once. So if I pull, and if I clean my bum bum, the, the thing will still come out. So a lot of people call me, a lot of people chatted me, the pastors, evangelists, traditionists, and the native doctors. Um, so um, they offer me a lot of things, but I did not feel comfortable to take anything. But since I was still passing through that, so I decided to take one from the person who had built it for me. So, he was telling me that it would be okay. So okay, I start drinking it. So after three days now, I the first day I noticed that you know when I wake up in the morning, my man will always used to stand. But I I realized that there's no more standing anymore in the morning. And now the pulling stop has not even stopped. Now my man he, he can he cannot stand again. Even if I like let me watch nonsense or think be with him. He doesn't stand like that. Even if he stand just two seconds, it thing will go down. So I might not it will stand even without me coming to come, the thing will go down. So I'm not feeling comfortable. Please share this video. If somebody can come and help me, I need help, please. I don't need you to share this video. Because I can't take it again. They have, I, I went to the hospital. They say since they it was a back uh, tradition stuff that is tradition. I don't even know. It is prayer. Please, if you have anybody for this, please share this video for me. I want you to share this. I need I need help. I'm now facing two things. My man is not standing at being active again, and I'm still facing the full stop. Easy. Please help me and share this video. I really need help. I really need help. A lot of people called me, they wanted to help me, but I did not want to until I said, okay, let me take. So other people were even telling me, take and advertise it for others. people. This, this very man was, okay, take it and also advertise for people so that people that are facing this issue might also come and take it. It's okay, I said, okay, since it's that way, since you say it's good, and I collected it and drink. I just drank it for the past four days. I'm not facing this, I, I, I need help. So. I said, let me just come out early and, and voice out so that if someone can help me, please put me in your prayer. I can't be facing two things. I'm too young for this. I don't even, I don't even get picking. I'm not with, I don't, I don't have a child yet. So I can't be this. That's an, my, I don't want to be a two second man. No. My own is not even two second. My own is not even standing that much. I used to enjoy that early morning man standing. At least. You wake up, you do like this, and your thing too will follow you like this. This for now, I'm not, four days now, I'm not I can't see it. You can't see it. No need of me wearing play play pants because I did, I used to wear play pants so that you could press it down in case I I, I wear clothes. Now even if I like this, I'm not on play pants. It's just like that because I know it will not stand. Even if any woman touch it, it will not stand like that. It's my thing used to stand four, five, twenty, even fifty times a day. But now I'm struggling to get it stand even two times. Please, please, I need help. Share this video. Let it get to someone that can help me. Please recommend someone for me. But if you cannot, if you don't have anybody, just share this video. Let it go viral so that someone can help. Put me in your prayer. If you know any man that can pray, somebody, please just help me. What is all this now? I did not want to drink, but they, they keep asking, keep coming. Ah, ah. I'm tired. I'm just tired. I'm just tired. Erectile dysfunction is inability to get and keep an erection firm enough for intimacy. It's also known as impotence and is a source of worry to both the man involved and his partner. It can cause low self-esteem and enough psychological stress for the individual. And how does someone know that he has erectile dysfunction? The person will be unable to get an erection. The person will be unable to keep an erection that is already present. And the person will have low sexual desire. Before a man gets aroused, it follows complex interactions between the brain, the hormones, the emotions, the nerves, the blood supply, and even the muscles to his manhood. So whatever that affects any of this,
can give rise to erectile dysfunction. Stress or any form of psychological or mental disorder can increase an already existing erectile dysfunction. It can worsen it. So any of these interaction can lead to erectile dysfunction. And what are the causes of erectile dysfunction? The physical causes of erectile dysfunction include, but not limited to the following. When there is heart disease, what happens is that in the presence of heart disease, the heart will not be able to pump enough blood to the manhood, and the person may present with erectile dysfunction. Now, when there is hypertension, it's the same mechanism. The blood supply to that place reduces, and or makes it difficult and so you know it, it needs um blood supply to get to get standing so anything that reduces blood supply to the manhood will reduce will cause erectile dysfunction diabetes mellitus causes what we call endarteritis the small small vessels that supply blood to the manhood will become will have issues and they will not supply enough blood to the manhood causing erectile dysfunction now presence of um high cholesterol this will be determined through lipid profile. You no know, high cholesterol will also lead to clogging. Then atherosclerosis, the same mechanism. The blood vessels to that manhood is clogged by fat, and the person will have erectile dysfunction. Then some other things like what we call metabolic syndrome. When there is presence of hypertension, presence of trunker or waist obesity, and high insulin level, this will cause erectile dysfunction. Some treatments, some treatment that the individual is on, for example, treatment for hypertension, there are some drugs that causes erectile dysfunction. So your physician will be able to review this, and if the person has hypertension and is having erectile dysfunction, may will review the drugs and remove some of these and replace them with others. There are some treatments for prostate enlargement. That is what we call prostate hypertrophy of treatment for prostate cancer. This can lead to erectile dysfunction. Some diseases like Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, then sleep disorders. These are just few of things that can cause erectile dysfunction. Now, psychological causes include when there is stress, enough stress, can cause erectile dysfunction. When there is anxiety, something is bothering the person, it can cause erectile dysfunction. Or when there is problem in the relationship, what we call breakfast, when someone has served you breakfast, it can cause erectile dysfunction. It can bring low sexual desire and will lead to erectile dysfunction. Now, for someone that already has some form of erectile dysfunction and anxiety to make it work, may also further worsen the erectile dysfunction. These are some few causes of erectile dysfunction. Others include surgeries. When there is surgery around the manhood, it can lead to scar formation, and that scar will not allow enough blood supply to the manhood, and the person will present with erectile dysfunction. Now, there's one we call perennial disease. When there is scar formation also around the manhood, it will not allow enough blood supply to the manhood, and the person will have erectile dysfunction. So there are a barrage of things that can cause erectile dysfunction. Now, from the video you watched above, if you listen to the original video, some people were alleging blood oats. I don't know about that, but from the medical point of view, anybody that has erectile dysfunction should be able to see, go to the hospital and see his doctor. He will be able to rule out the things that could cause the erectile dysfunction present in the individual and the dose be sorted out. If all these are sorted out and it persists, Okay, you can think of other things. But for now, from the medical point of view, these are the causes of erectile. So, add to what I have mentioned before, someone that is a chronic alcoholic, chronic alcoholism can cause erectile dysfunction because it reduces sexual desire. And remember, it's one of the reasons for someone to have erectile dysfunction. One of the symptoms of presentation the person comes with, low sexual desire. So, chronic alcoholism can cause erectile dysfunction. Now, tobacco use. Tobacco use can cause erectile dysfunction because tobacco causes 
low oxygenation of the blood. So when the blood supply to that place is deoxygenated, it will not allow its the manhole to stand very well. So tobacco use can cause electri erectile dysfunction. This should be ruled out before someone will say, ah, I don't know the cause of the erectile dysfunction. It could also be result from low testosterone. Whatever reason that gives the person low male hormone can cause erectile dysfunction. So these are the things to rule out before you conclude that it could be spiritual, it could be something you did or blood oats i don't know but medical point of view these things and amongst others are causes of erectile disorder. so what are the risk factors just know that age is one of the risk factors for erectile dysfunction as someone is growing old things around him, his manhood starts growing old as well so as older the person is the person can present with erectile dysfunction. Then among the things I've mentioned as the, risks, as the causes could be risk factors for erectile dysfunction. And what's the treatment? What's the prevention? Let me go with prevention for before treatment. Prevention for erectile dysfunction is to choose healthy lifestyle. Make healthy lifestyle choices. Eat healthy. Avoid obesity. Avoid whatever that will cause atherosclerosis. Make healthy lifestyle choices. Eat more of vegetable. Eat more of fruits. Reduce alcohol intake as much as possible. Avoid tobacco use. Avoid these things. Now, treat medical, pre-existing medical conditions. If you have hypertension or diabetes, or heart diseases, this should be treated because when it's treated, the, it will reduce or prevent the person from getting erectile dysfunction. Now, reduce stress. Whatever that gives you stress, avoid it as much as possible because it can cause the person to have erectile dysfunction. So, reduce stress as much as possible. Give yourself that pampering that you need. Reduce stress, avoid alcohol intake, or reduce it drastically treats already existing medical conditions then visit the hospital for regular checkup visit hospital for regular treatment and checkup of your system this will help prevent regular exercises also helps to prevent erectile dysfunction so regularly exercise do as much as you can about three times to four times in a week 30 minutes to one hour to keep you fit now what is the treatment for erectile dysfunction visit the hospital see your doctor it will help he will rule out what is the cause he will rule out really what are the causes and rule out what are not the causes and whatever he found he can treat it now for chronic erectile dysfunction that you cannot say okay you have done everything and you cannot it's not working we can do what will come who can do testosterone replacement. This testosterone replacement has its own side effect, but it will be done by your doctor. So that's why you need to visit a doctor. We can do even, we can put what we call urethra suppository. We put something into the urethra, just a plate of drugs, put it there, and it will help the person sustain erection. We can also do what we call penile injection, inject drug at the root of this, the, uh, manhood, it will help the person sustain erection. Now we can do what we call um, penile implants for extreme cases. These are treatment options. We can even vacuum erection device. The vacuum erection device will help to form the manhood and make it stand there even though it also has its own complications. These things that I mentioned are the things to be done in the hospital. So if you have erectile dysfunction, the first thing to do is to visit your doctor, go to the hospital. It will, things that are causing it will be found and the treatment options given. Thank you for watching to this extent. Thank you for following me. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my, follow me on my Facebook page. Follow me on TikTok and on Instagram. Help me grow this page. Let's grow this page and reach the targeted audience. Thank you.
Thank you. See you next time for another medical enriching video. If there's anything you want us to discuss or any trending video about medical health, you can drop it here. We will analyze it and make a medical teaching on it. Thank you for watching. My name is Dr. Nkiruka Bridget at OBJI Talks with Dr. Adazayan, MBBS, FMCOG, FWAX. I discuss everything about women's health and children's health. And intermittently, I add men's health to it. Thank you. God bless you.